What's happening, guys? Anthony back with Metal Miners. Want to do a uh, video today? Would be all tapes except for the background music. <clears throat> Got ten tapes uh, from nine different countries. I want to share with you. I've picked up over the last few months. Uh, in my opinion, it's all great stuff. Some of it better than others, uh, but uh, for you, it's a, suge a suggestion. I would hope that you would check it out and give them a fair shake before you made your mind up. But a lot of this stuff is only available on tape. Some of these guys have some stuff on CD as well, but uh, <clears throat> some of them are new. Some of them are a little bit older, but uh, all of them are much worth your attention. So without any further ado, in the background, we're listening to Dark Throne soul side journey <clears throat> this is their 91 uh, death metal album released on Peaceville this is actually a 2012 Peaceville reissue uh, great stuff I wish they would have stuck with the death metal that's just my opinion but uh, they did a great job of it but they do a great job of everything I guess <clears throat> it's all a matter of what you like um, let's jump right in First off this morning, a Dangerous Mutation, uh, ripped in half. This is a 2021 release, come out on Life After Death uh, this year. This is from Valencia, Spain. Uh, it's categorized as Death Thrash, and I would say that's probably pretty good. You see the uh, Life After Death emblem there. One Piece Band, Francisco Javier Martinez, comes on this green shell you get five tracks 21 and a half minutes of music um, he did a 2020 demo uh, then this <clears throat> so uh, he's, he's fresh off the block doing good stuff there's the track listing right there um, and there's Javier himself um, you get a cover of demolition hammers 44 caliber brain surgery um, musically uh, the guitar work is fast and thrashy most of the time um, the vocals are death metal with growls with some screams on top of them except on the uh, cover song naturally uh, the screams are almost blackened uh, strong guitar work very talented guy. I'm looking forward to a full length from Javier. There it is. Dangerous Mutation Ripped in Half. That art there is Gregorio Torres. I'm going to try to remember to give you all the artists as well because that's a, a great part of these releases. Next up uh, from Australia, Feculent, The Grotesque Arena. Uh, this come out 2021 on Caligari Records. Uh, Feculent's a four piece. You get six tracks, a little over 14 minutes long on this EP. It's death metal. Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. Uh, they've been active since 2019, and this is their first release. There's a better shot of that cover art. Cover artist is John Weber. Inside the J card there. Uh, musically, it's a it's a outstanding. Uh, first outing for the band uh, the music is, is solid the vocals are solid a um, little faster than mid paced at most times <clears throat> there's also a vinyl variant available at Caligari but uh, if you want it you better act quick because um, it won't stay long Feculent the grotesque arena from Australia Next we have, I mispronounce this one all the time, I'm going to try to do better, I wrote it down here in my notes uh, so I wouldn't re revisit my bad pronunciation again, Defecatory, Defecatory, um, this is their Chasm of Perpetual Decay compilation, this come out 2020 on Burning Coffins. I actually picked it up at Caligari. Um, the arts by JL Olmos. There's the J card. Uh, this is a one piece 
band to a one-man project Santiago Ferreira you get six tracks uh, almost 19 minutes of music uh, Santiago Santiago's from Uruguay this is death metal uh, been active since 2020 he had an EP in 2020 and this is actually a uh, contains that 2020 EP uh, with an intro plus three new tracks on this uh, compilation old school death metal mid paced uh, very well done the B sides much stronger than the A side in my opinion but it's good stuff from Uruguay check it out uh, next let's go to Finland Sepulchral Curse a birth in death EP uh, this is a, actually came out in 2014 on chaos and hell records uh, or productions rather this is a 2020 uh, repress on Transylvania tapes uh, the art and the logo is by a name that you will recognize right off the bat David Mickelson undergang it's blackened death metal there's the inside of the J card take another look at that art um, like I say they're from Finland it's a four piece you get four tracks almost 16 minutes of music uh, their discography they've been active since 2013 uh, this was their first release back then it actually came out in 2014 they did an EP in 2016 uh, and then they had a full length this year called Only Ashes Remain. Uh, musically, uh, the vocals are guttural death metal with a uh, blackened scream. It transitions from a chuggy uh, mid-paced guitars to a blistering solos. Uh, then with this blackened style uh, trim picking, uh, the guitar work is the uh, outstanding thing on this for me. It's just sensational. Check it out, the guys are from Finland. Next, Regurgitated Guts, Esophageal Mutilation EP. Uh, this is a 2017 release on Unspeakable Acts Records. This is a 2021 that came out on Caligari, and that's actually where I picked it up. It comes on this cool black shell. This is Death Metal out of Manitoba, Canada. Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Uh, you get this is a four piece you get four tracks just a little over 10 minutes on this EP there's the inside of the J card um, as far as their discography uh, this is it uh, they're still active I, I'm hoping they do something uh, soon um, this 10 minutes goes by so fast I mean this is this is good stuff and leaves you wondering why these guys haven't done anything since it's death metal done right uh, finished influence uh, you hear that finished sound uh, good production exceptional vocals uh, just a solid release I really enjoy this uh, good stuff and that is from Canada now let's go to Santiago Chile or Chile I should say Phantasmagore Insurrection or Submission uh, this is their 2021 EP on Necrolatry Records. Uh, the art here is by Rama Putri. Let me get it out where you can see it better. The art on the uh, Regurgitated Guts, I should go back because I really enjoy this art. The art on this is Pierre de Palmas. Back over to Phantasmagore, Rama Putri. It also goes by Gut Slaughter. Here's the inside of the J card and some more of the uh, art it's just magnificent stuff like i say this is a two-piece uh, five tracks santiago chile uh, their discography is uh they've been active since 2018 they did a 2019 demo a 2021 or excuse me a 2020 split with uh, flesh rot uh, then this um, this is this is fantastic a uh, two-piece five tracks a little over 21 minutes this is this is good stuff uh, I'm looking for a full length from these guys it's catchy it's thick mid-paced chuggy 
Um, the vocals are guttural, cavernous, uh, good stuff done the way it should be done. The tone is sick. Check out the third track, Deadly. It's an instrumental and it's just pulverizing. You'll, you'll enjoy it. I am sure of it. Santiago, Chile. Next, let's come to the United States, Denton, Texas with Combat. And this is their EP titled New Dimensions of Pain 2020 release on Nuclear Family Records. This is a 2021 on Transylvania Tapes. Come out on this cool green shell. Uh, this is death metal with crossover edge to it. That cover art there's by Jason Barnett. Like I say, they're from Denton, Texas. Look inside the J card there. Uh, five piece, you get five tracks, a little over 17 minutes of that crossover style death metal. They've been active since 2016. They did a 2017 demo, uh, then this, and then they did a split this year with Torture Tune. Uh, musically, it has that crossover sound to it, that crossover vibe. If you like Creeping Death, if you like um, Gate Creeper, uh, you'll probably enjoy this. It's good stuff. I picked mine up at Transylvania Tapes. At the end of the video, I'm going to try to uh, include in the comments, not the comments, but whatever you call that deal down there where I picked this stuff up at. It's not necessarily uh, what it was released on, but it's where I picked it up, the distro or the record label where I picked it up. I'm trying to give you all this information where you will have it for future reference, but some people like it, some people don't. Uh, there it is, no extra charge. Naquam, Morbid Devourment EP. Uh, this is a 2021 release on Transylvania tapes. He always does some cool looking tapes. Look at that. There is no uh, nod to the artist here. Naquam's a four piece from Tucson, Arizona. They play death metal. You get about 19 minutes of it on this release. Um, they've been active since 2020. I wish there was uh, some credits for that artist because it's sure good. Look at that. It looks like Reddick art, but I doubt it is because it would have been on here. But uh, uh, discography, uh, this is it. This is their first release, Naquam. Uh, nothing new here. They're, they're playing old school death metal. They're doing it right. The production's good enough. All instruments are uh, as they should be in the mix. Um, it's got some samples in it. Uh, it's mostly about serial killers or serial killing. Uh, whatever you want to do, but uh, musically it's a solid debut. I don't think you'll be disappointed. All right, that should be seven countries. We got two more countries to cover on two more cassettes. Dawn of Obliteration. This is their Ruins a demo, uh, 2019. They released it independently, and then this releases a 2021 Lycanthropic Chance reissue or first issue uh, I don't know if they did it uh, anything but the physical in 2019 anyway just call it a reissue on like a thropic uh, chance the arch by a rotter Whoop, drop that out there's the J card track listing mine's number 61 of 100 uh, it actually came with a download card uh, Rotter's the last guy there on this side. That's who did the art. These guys are from Hamburg, Germany. Uh, it's a five piece. You get three tracks on this demo. Almost 15 minutes of music. Uh, their discography, they did an EP in 2013 and then this demo. Uh, musically, um, if you like Bolt Thrower, which I'm absolutely crazy about Bolt Thrower, you will love this. I mean, it is absolutely awesome. You, you will hear the Bolt Thrower in it the time you mash play. Um, I picked this up at Rotted Life. They actually have a vinyl variant available now. Uh, I'm going to go back and get the vinyl because I really, really love that Hamburg, Germany. Uh, oh. It come with a, uh, a little uh, download card that I've already 
giving it away, so no point in going trying to get it. Okay, last but not least, Tenebro. There you go, that's better. This is their Liberace da Male EP. It came out 2020 on Dismal Fate Records. This is a 2021 reissue on Desert Wastelands. I actually picked mine up at Goat Throne. There's inside the J card. Uh, the Arts by Cesar Valadares. This is Death Metal from Italy. Uh, their discography, they had a demo in 2019. And uh, then this musically, um, it's heavy, it's thick, it's, uh, it's think mortician and you won't be far from it. This is, this is good stuff here, I really enjoy it. A two piece, you get three tracks, uh, 11, almost 12 minutes of music. Like I said, I picked mine up at, at Goat Throne, but it actually came out on Desert Wasteland, so I'm sure you can pick up a, a, a copy there. Uh, Tenebro. That winds me up, guys. That's 10 cassettes uh, and not too many more minutes. I hope I didn't make it too long. Um, I try to uh, include the artist and where I got them from so y'all can go back and look at them. One day I'm going to do uh, maybe a video just on art. Uh, I just love the art on these covers, man. I wish I could draw. I guess if I could, I would write on the bathroom walls while when I was in high school, but I couldn't, so I just had to look at everybody else's pictures. But this is great stuff, man. Go check it out. Give it a chance and uh, support these labels, support these bands, and uh, they'll keep supporting you with good music. I appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching.